okay here we have uh, we have time series data of cons and ex we have these two variable what is cons cons is consumption and ex is ex export so we have two variable and I'm opening these two variable open as a group so it is the variable ex and cons and from 1960 to until 2020 so it is our variable ex and cons right okay and it is the it is our model uh, okay, 1960 to 1960 to 19. Uh, sorry, 1960 to 2020. Okay, here we have assumption that these two variable are non-stationary at level, meaning that these two variables have uh, have unit root or non-stationary non at level but when I convert this variable into first difference they become stationary so that is our assumptions uh, so uh, I am telling again when these two variable we assume that they are they are non stationary at level but when i convert these two variable into into first difference then they become stationary okay now what we shall do uh, what we know we know from the theory we know from the theory that if the variables in the model are non stationary then estimated regression model can be spurious or estimated regression model is a nonsense model we cannot accept any nonsense model okay and now we check whether our model using these two variable is a spurious or not that we want to check now okay we want to check now that uh, we want to check now so we estimate the regression line with this uh, two variable right okay so how to run regression model I go to quick then I go to estimate equation okay and here ex is the dependent variable so I write it first ex then I write C then I write cons so this is our regression model ex is the dependent variable and cons is the independent variable and C is the constant and here both the variables are non-stationary okay but the first difference of this variable is stationary that we assume but but we have not tested it we have we have we have not tested it but we assume that both 
are stationary after first difference and okay now we run this model right so the result has come up it is the dependent variable right and cons is the independent variable it is the coefficient 5.69 and the cons is significant because the p-value is less than 5% so the cons is a significant variable to explain our dependent variable which is EX okay now but the question is that uh, the question is that whether this model this estimated model is a spurious or not or whether this model is a nonsense model or not okay what is the symptom of a spurious model the symptom of a spurious model is the value of r square should be greater than Darbin Watson statistics. Right? That is the uh, spurious model. And here, how much is the Darbin Watson value? How much? 0 0.72, and which is greater than? Darbin Watson statistics meaning that our estimated model is is a spurious model because R square is more than Darbin Watson statistics so it is a spurious model okay that means when the model is spurious we cannot accept the model okay but there is a one more thing but if the residual of this model is spurious sorry if the residual of this model is stationary then our estimated model is no longer spurious So, so uh, we should check the residual, whether it is stationary uh, or not, not stationary. And here, so what is the residual of this model? You can see from here. So here, it is the residual of our regression model you can see from here it is the residual you see it is the residual of the model right from 1960 to 2020 right you can see from here and if this residual is stationary then our regression model is not spurious okay so what I do I create a variable here I create a variable such as u new object then series then I put u you see I create a variable which is u and what is u? u I put it u equal to resid you see from here that means u and resid should be the same thing right then I press enter okay so now resid and u has become same so uh, so we are opening both to check 
you see receipt and you has become the same right right until 2020 right both variable become same okay now if this u is stationary then uh, then uh, our estimated model is not spurious okay so how to check i go to quick go to quick i go to series statistics i go to unit root test then i write u u is is the residual right so here what i am doing i am doing unit root testing okay so augmented dickey fuller right so here are three option we we know already right we have the three options right intercept trend and intercept and none okay suppose i choose the first option intercept right and the residual at level right then what happens i press okay you see what is our null hypothesis u has a unit root u has a unit root means what it means u is non non stationary that is the null hypothesis and what is the alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis is u is stationary that means u does not have any unit unit root that is alternative hypothesis okay and what is our augmented dickey fuller statistics minus 3.29 right minus 3.29 that is the test statistics and what is the critical value at 1% 3.54 5% 2.91 Ten percent, two point five nine. So, but here we cannot use all this critical value. We cannot use all this critical value. Here we have to use the critical value of Engel-Granger test. From the Eng uh, Engel-Granger test, we shall be using the critical value not from here okay the engel granger critical value at 10% is minus 3.04 i am saying again the critical value from engel granger at 10% uh, 10% is minus 3.04 so here i am taking 10% level so you see uh, here the absolute value is 3.29 absolute value means we ignore the sign right the absolute value 3.29 which is gr greater than our critical value of angel granger which is 3.04 so t stat so the test statistics is greater than critical value so we can reject null hypothesis and we can accept the alternative hypothesis and what is our alternative hypothesis u does not have unit root that means u is stationary uh, so uh, i am telling again what is the guideline the guideline is 
if the test statistics is greater than critical value we can reject null hypothesis and we can accept alternative hypothesis and what is our test statistics absolute value absolute value is 3.29 and what is critical value from Engel Granger it is 3.04 at 10 percent so test statistics is greater than Engel Granger critical value so we can reject null hypothesis and we, ask, we, we take the alternative hypothesis. What is alternative? The U does not have uni unit root, meaning that U is stationary. That means our residual is stationary. It means that our estimated model that we have just estimated is not spurious is not spurious meaning that our model that we have just estimated so I'm showing that one we have just estimated our model that is this one uh, I'm coming up here just one minute I'm sorry I'm taking my model where is the where is my model is coming up uh, the model is here that is at the below I guess equation is yes. uh, yeah this model that we have estimated is not spurious because residual of this model has become stationary okay so what does it mean it means that if the variable is non stationary still we can run the regression model provided the residual of the model becomes stationary that is our teaching from here but one thing also uh, should be there although the variables are are non stationary at level but they should be stationary at first difference that is also uh, should be there so that we can use the non stationary variables to run our regression model okay now what is happening mm. So when the residual of this model becomes stationary, it has also another meaning. It also means that EX and CONS, these two variables are co-integrated, meaning that these two variables have long-run equilibrium relationship. I am telling again when the residual of this model becomes stationary it means that EX and CONS are co-integrated meaning that they have long-run relationship that means the whole model is a long-run model long-run model and 5.69 is a long run coefficient not short run this one become long run coefficient and we can see it is significant we can see significant and the thing is that when the variables are co-integrated then we can run the error correction model I'm telling again when the variables become co-integrated or when the variables have long-run equilibrium relationship we can run for co-integration model